Hi, I'm Sophia, and this is part five of modernizing traditional applications for Java developers. In part four, I added self-service analytics to the application by recording event messages in Elasticsearch and using Kibana to create a dashboard of metrics with graphics. I was able to deploy the analytics without shutting down the running application by simply running Docker Compose with Elasticsearch and Kibana in the file. In part five, I'll replace the Java server pages user interface with a JavaScript and HTML application in the container. And this is possible because I added a message microservice as an MVC application with a REST interface. The advantage of moving UI components is that it separates the features from the business logic and lets me iterate quickly. Clients can be released quickly without testing the whole solution. And as I did previously with self-service analytics, I'll deploy the web page on container, add it to the Docker Compose file, and like before, it'll deploy without stopping the other containers. To make the application available for testing, I'll push the application to Docker Trusted Registry using the docker push command. First, I'll tag the image with the address of the registry, the count name and name of the image, and the version. I'll need to log into DTR to push the tagged image into the registry and using the docker push command, I'll put the image into DTR, making it available to run in Docker Universal Control Plane, or UCP. Docker Universal Control Plane, or UCP, is the enterprise-grade cluster management solution from Docker. You install it on-premises or in your virtual private cloud, and it helps you manage your Docker Swarm and applications through a single interface. To make the application available for testing, I can reuse the Docker Compose file I used while developing the application. I'll need to make a few changes to the Compose file, such as making sure that it uses the images I push to the Docker Trusted Registry. Once the application is deployed, I can begin testing it, including deploying it in a clustered environment. The same environment that I used in development is replicated in testing by using a Docker Compose file, and Docker makes development portable, fast, and completely reproducible. This concludes modernizing traditional Java applications for developer series. We've done a number of things to make the application more consistent, scalable, portable, and robust. In addition, we've added a few new features by adding them via a Docker Compose file, and the core application remains relatively unchanged. And I've basically bolted new features using containers running in Docker. However, I haven't really refactored the application in a microservice architecture, but I have made it easier to do so on the next iteration of the application. So to recap, I began the process by using the Lift and Chef methodology. This means I didn't change any application code. Instead, I encapsulated the application environment in containers by creating images that held the application server with the application and the database. While I could individually run each image as a container, I used a Docker Compose file to declare which images to use, the environmental parameters such as ports, passwords, and the user and the network they use to connect to each other. Once I was certain that this configuration worked the same way as in the deployed application, I was free to make changes to the application. In the third part, I decided to solve a common scaling problem with Java CRUD applications. I added a messaging service using Redis and a worker pojo to handle user registration. The message queue handles the user input and the worker writes the information to the MySQL database that stores the user data. I made a minor change to the application code to send the form data to the messaging service, but otherwise left the application code as is. I also added the Redis data con database container, messaging service, and worker to the Docker Compose file, so they will start automatically with the application. In the fourth part of this series, I took advantage of the messaging service to add self-service analytics. I added a listener for message events that writes the data to Elasticsearch, and I use Kibana for the self-service metrics UI, where the user can generate graphs and even dashboards using the system data and events. Both Elasticsearch and Kibana, the metrics UI, were added to the Docker Compose file. In the fifth and final part of the series, I replaced the JSP client UI in the original application with a JavaScript client. This is possible because the application uses an MVC architecture with a RESTful interface. I deployed the client in a separate container and added it to the Docker Compose file. By separating the client UI from the application, a developer can iterate much faster without having to change the code in the application. As in the previous sections, I can deploy the new client without shutting down other components. 
So containerizing the application makes the application portable, and I can run the entire application in Docker Enterprise Edition by making the images public. I can run the same Docker Compose file from my laptop as in the cloud, and furthermore, I can run analytics containers without stopping the application. So when I took a look at the original application, I really haven't changed much code. It still remains essentially the same application that I started with, but I've added a messaging queue to improve scalability, added self-service metrics, and a new client. And this is all possible because I use containers to add these new features and Docker to deploy them as a platform. This concludes modernizing traditional Java applications for developers. Thanks for watching. And if you want to get started modernizing your own app, head to Play with Docker, a training site which is an online environment with Docker configured that has a lot of great tutorials. If you want us to help you modernize your application suite, head to docker.com slash MTA to learn how we partner a Docker architect with an infrastructure provider such as Microsoft or Accenture to bring your apps into the modern world.